Uh, what are you doing? Just thinking. Thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> what were you thinking about? <laughs> I don't like to say all my thoughts live. Well, we're live? Yes. I, I don't think, think so. we're live. Yes, we, well, we're not live, but we're recording. <laughs> you hit the record button? Yeah. What's going on, dickweeds? That's better. Hey, fucking right. You got a joint hanging out of your fucking mouth and you're putting on fucking head cream. Well, it looks a little fucked. That's the way I roll. It's the way you roll. It's the way Donna rolls. <coughs> okay. Today's Wednesday, hump day, a day me and Donna dedicate to banging. <laughs> We've been fucking all day. <laughs> we don't got very many fucking stories today because like, it's Wednesday and we spent most of the day in bed, so like we didn't really pay attention to the world. <laughs> but Donna noticed something. Uh, what did you notice? Their cop dropping. Off. Remember the cop last night? Okay, so we were. Oh, in, this was last night. Yeah, the cop that dropped off the. Okay, what's the word? The person awaiting trial. That doesn't have anything ever taken away from them when you... <laughs> okay, Donna. Come on. Let's get out the story. You don't gotta tell all that. Some dick got dropped off over yeah, at the bail I don't last understand night. why the fucking cops are dropping them off. It was after fucking... Like, way after... There's no courts opening up that fucking date. What do you do? Just do something then they let you out? Well, how does that work? I don't know. Well, anyways... Uh, yeah, anyways, the fucking, not, so not only is regular people drop them off, then you had Ontario fucking people dropping them off, people that were... Ontario working, people. Yeah, like Ontario fucking, that's what the van said, Ontario, <laughs> and that now you, <laughs> now you have uh, fucking cops, fucking cops dropping them off. What are you getting at? It's not safe around here. It's not safe around here. Too many people dropping off criminals. Look at what? How fucking gross that looks, eh? What are you looking at? The veins. Donna, we're doing a show. Well, they're all puffy. Do you think I'm okay? We're on the cherry diesel today again, and Donna's brain seems to not be able to handle it. It handles it fine. She does a little bit of it, and she drifts off into other no. stories and things that have nothing to do with anything. I just anything. notice things. <laughs> yeah. Just continue. People in alleyways shooting up. Okay, I had an appointment I had to go to uh, this afternoon, okay? And I couldn't find parking 
uh, like on the street. She couldn't find no parking on the street. Like the street that where the appointment was. So I had to like, I literally went down the road. I went down this pine. Okay, I turned off. Went up like cedar. Okay, I think it was cedar. That I think that's what it is. Yeah, it's cedar. Okay, no fucking parking anywhere. So, and I was kept it close to my appointment time, so I was like, okay, I'll go one more time, like, around the whole block. No fucking parking, okay? So I had to park over on Cedar Street, but, like, I got close to where, like, it was only, like, a two-minute walk to where I had to go. Anyway, so I get out, I, I put fucking meter money in the thing, right? And there's an alleyway, okay? There's a... Well, first of all, like I didn't realize the area I had parked in until after I put the meter money in and I was wondering what the guy was doing across the street, but there's like some type of bar or something there. A bar? Yeah, there's some type of fucking uh, there's something there. The guy <laughs> the guy was like walking weird outside, right? And I looked up at the sign, that's how I knew. It was like something some type of fucking bars right there, okay? So I was thinking, oh fuck, like this is not good and on the other side is uh uh, I don't know what's there. Maybe a taxi place? Like vets, taxi, fucking... I have no idea. I, well, I never go down that area. Neither. I had to park. I couldn't find parking. Anyway, so... And why'd you go there for an appointment? I had an appointment. I couldn't find parking on the street where the appointment was, so I had parked around the corner, like on the next block. So I was like, oh, wow. like I could probably take the alleyway right there. I was thinking you could get to it. Oh, there there. you go. No, no, that wasn't uh, as I started walking towards the alleyway and I started seeing people, right? And (laughs) they were all crouched down behind That was a no-no. And I, the the one, like, Canadian Indian guy kind of looked over at me, like, you know. For for those of you wondering, we're in Canada. We're in Timmins, Ontario. The arsehole of Ontario. The arsehole of Canada. The arsehole of fucking the earth. Timmins, Timmins is the worst place to be, ever. Well, I there, think. I mean, I haven't been everywhere, but this is not good here. It's bad here. Uh, as I, like, there was three of them, right? There was three people. Like, I seen three people. There was the one Canadian Indian guy, though. Like, he looked over at me, like you know, like that look, like, like what do you do? Like you know, like that, like you're in, like I was interrupting the drug session, right? So, anyways, I fucking, but they. I know what they were doing. Like Donna they, knows what they were doing. I, I seen the orange. I seen the orange. I seen it all. I seen the blue fucking bands. I seen all, like enough to like. Nope, I'm not going down there. Anyways, but that was right. She started like, going down the alleyway, and all of a sudden, she looked over and was like, "No, I started." Ah! <laughs> hey. And you turned around and went back. Yeah, I, I walked <laughs> on the sidewalk close to like you know where there's people and stuff like that. <laughs> I got like I don't know I just worry about like I just don't like that it's not safe there's no safe feeling especially when you park across like from a fucking bar or whatever. it's like some bar the guy looked like he had like already too many and he was just kind of <laughs> staggering with his bright yellow shoes on <laughs> bright yellow shoes yeah he had bright yellow shoes they were like really like like uh yellow like the sun like they were really yellow and you tell them tell them about this guy, the guy tells cars so, to move okay so after i'm done the appointment okay i go get into the car and i'm now driving uh, i had a stop to make after i was done the appointment so i go up cedar street and i make a uh, right on to algonquin because i'm going down algonquin or up algonquin or whatever you want to say okay now, in between Cedar and the fucking lights at Pine over here, there's this fucking, uh, there's, there's a couple cars in front of me. That wasn't the fucking problem. There's fucking great big fucking Canadian Inca, great big fucker, okay? He had backpack on, he's got his fucking blue jacket, his fucking holy shoes, you know? Holy shoes! And he, and he must have been religious. He looks... <laughs> He, as he's walking in front of Scotia, he decides he's just going to cross. Like, he's just going to, you know, make his own crosswalk, I guess you could say. So he starts going, and as he starts walking, I see him look up, right? And I was thinking, oh, fuck, what are you doing? Like, you know, like, because I don't, I don't want to be bothered when I'm in the car. Like, <laughs> the car is ours. Like, that's our, our personal home. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's like that's a, Donna's personal space. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you know. Anyways, so I'm in there. Once the doors closed, the shields are up. 
Yeah, <laughs> like it's the same as if if, if you're like you know in your house, you don't want somebody just barging into your house and you know cutting from the front door to the back door to get over somewhere quicker. You don't want that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's how I feel about the car. The guy starts yelling like, oh, move, move, like fucking his whole arms were out, like as he was swimming, you know, but he wasn't. Anyways, he looked right fucking at me. I fucking literally, and I'm not even joking, there was nobody coming behind me. I fucking put the car in reverse and I slowly just fucking backed up like you're, have your fucking, you know, 10 feet that you need, you know, like, I'm not even joking. I put it in the reverse and just, because he was saying, like he was yelling, move, and and he was also like, had that look, you know, like, you better fucking move. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he had the better fucking move look. Yeah, like, you know. The better fucking move look. <laughs> anyway, so I, I, I rolled back and gave him the extra space that he wanted. Mm. He had lots there. I wasn't like bumper to bumper with the car in front. Just... Moving on. Tent across from Gilly's Lake. Okay, so remember the other day I told you guys about the cop that fucking started taking apart somebody's house? (laughs) Their house. Their tent house. Yeah. Is that orange fucking tent? Yeah. Well, it's on... Okay, so Gilly's Lake is like on this side of the road, of the 655. And then there's like closer to... Well, up the road. It's still on the road. The Gilly's Lake is kind of like a big lake, right? So, but... (laughs) It's small but big, okay? Like if you're on the on the highway and you look over, there's this fucking dirt fucking road that goes up uh, behind like the Comfort Inn or whatever the fuck is back there. It's just like a dirt road and I see mm-hmm. recycling bins at the end of this dirt road every week. Well, the motherfuckers, okay, they didn't even try to hide it. You, If you were to pull in there, it's right there. This great big fucking t- tent. There's a tarp on, like, hanging out on, like, somewhere, I don't know where it is, but it's not, like, on the outside of the tent, it's kind of, like, on the inside of the tent, but hanging on the outside of the tent, yeah. underneath, right? A uh, fucking flip bike, but it's right fucking there. But then, do you know what I was thinking this morning when I seen that, and after I, uh, I went to the, your independent grocer, hey, hmm. I thought, because it was cold this morning, it was, like, two or three, right? I was thinking, fuck, whoever's in there has got to be cold. they got to be cold. It was cold here last I, night. I was really, like, I was really thinking of whoever has to sleep in a tent. they got to be fucking cold. And it's rainy, too, so th- it makes it that much more cold. Yeah. Keeps all we had for notes, Donna. Really. Me and Donna haven't been going around Timmins that much really lately. So we don't got much notes like we used to. Does that make sense what I just fucking said? Well, we're not seeing like that much stuff. Because, yeah, well, we're not going like. We've been hanging out at home. Because it's like, we don't, there's nothing to see in Timmins. There's nowhere to go. It's like always like the same, you know? Or like. It's basically always the same, just in different sales on the same items that you're already seeing. Don always thinks about shopping. But like in general, there's nowhere to go. Like at all. <laughs> uh, so we've been hanging out here and Donna's been making me watch TV with her. I don't really care for TV, but she found a show that it's not too bad. What's it called? Ozark. Ozark. It's not too bad. So, I sent Dawn on a on a meat run earlier today. We're gonna we we've been watching it for the last few nights, but there's been no fucking good snacks around here to eat. And like, there's nowhere to even if we wanted to like order from. There's nowhere to order from. Like there, it's all bad food. It's there's nothing good. Yeah. So Donna went and bought a bunch of cold <laughs> cuts, you yeah. know, deli meats. So we're gonna make deli meat sandwiches today. We've been staying up to like 3 or 4 a.m. Like pretty much pulling all-nighters all week long. And we need we need some good late-night snacks. Like we want something. Night. There's just never anything. So then we just don't bother. <laughs> yeah. So now we got some deli meat meat. Sandwich meat. <laughs> And that's all. Nothing else is new around here. We got new meat. That's all.
Yeah. Basically, yeah. Donna's making a stew for supper. Yeah. A beef stew. Well, it's like the weather's like shit. The weather's shit. So why not have a warm Sky is gray, drizzles off and on. You know, it's windy. Yeah, it's nothing's like. There's nothing. Uh, there's nothing around here that's. There's nothing around here worth a fuck. Like the, <laughs> I would say the shopping here is so bad that you're better off to like spend an hour, you know, on Amazon. Or it's, or drive somewhere else to another city to shop. It's, it's so bad here. Like it's, it's real bad here. Like it's so bad that I bet you people. Anybody that bought fucking fall decorations at Walmart so far, like, and how many people have those same decorations in their house? Because there's only fucking, there's no, there's nothing different here, nothing new. Everybody's got the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, except, you know, somebody may add a fucking, you know, what is it, a square of hay or whatever it's called. A square <laughs> of hay. What the fuck is you talking about? You know those people that get right into fall and they get those squares of hay? A square of hay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like they make a, they make a, they're in squares, the farmers, <laughs> they use it to decorate like their lawns, they put like pumpkins and then they put like this thing, the big things of hay. Yeah. They're tied. You lift them up. Okay. Yeah, Anyways, I know what you're talking about. Well, I said other than those pe those ones that get the squares of hay then, or like. No, because like the farmers, sometimes you see the round things, and and I don't think you can get round round hays. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you know. Can you get round hays? Like you know how there's the square ones, you know the field like. <laughs> Yeah, you see the big round ones sometimes. Yeah, the the person driving the thing and it's going through the field. Well, you think somebody wants a huge thing like that in their front lawn? <laughs> no, <'cause> <laughs> <he> gets... <laughs> no, the smaller ones. Like, how do they get the squares of hay so small? What squares? There's squares of fucking hay, Ed. Well, I know what you're talking about. Okay, but, but where... But... I don't... They must get them from a farm. Yeah. But how are they not, like... That's what I'm saying. If... If the round <laughs> one makes too big of like roundness, like it's too round, it's too big. How do they make the small ones? I'm pretty sure they got machines for that. Well, maybe they take some of the round and make it small. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Well, anyways, my point is, ex everybody probably has the same thing as most, like as like you know. Are you getting a square of hay this year? No. Because what am I going to do with it afterwards? I can't just toss what it What other out. people do with theirs? I don't know what they do. Maybe they give... Maybe they... I don't know. What I was do say, guys, maybe they have a what, farm, but... It's <laughs> what do you guys do with your square of hay? <laughs> yeah, like that block. The block of hay. Yeah, do, do what? Like, what do you do? Like, what do you do with it afterwards? Because... Maybe you donate it to a farm, like for the chickens or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You donate a fucking square of hay. <laughs> yeah. I don't even think it's called a square of hay. What is it called? Hay. I don't know, a bushel of hay? I'm not sure. What is it called? Leave a comment down below if you know. Let's try hay. What's the, what did you say? A bushel? Yeah. Hay. It's probably not that either, though. Bushel. The collective nouns used for hay, a bunch of, use a bunch of hay, is a bale, a stack, and a bundle. So which one is it that you want? Uh, I don't know. The square. Mm -hmm. Uh... Like, okay, I guess it's a bale, like that. Donna wants a bale of hay. <laughs> I 
I guess like they're. I guess it's just called bales. How much does a bale of hay go for? Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. At the Canadian. Well, I don't know if it's probably not this Canadian tire, but like, see, those are bales of hay too. The big round things. There's no uh, the difference between hay. Anyways, let's not talk about hay anymore. And uh, yeah, let's not talk about it. <laughs> um. Well, you're gonna have to chat for a second. I have to stir the stew. <laughs> Donna's got to stir the stew. How long did you say that has to cook for? Wow, well, one more hour. Another hour. Yeah, it cooks for an hour and, and a half and... Yeah, it'll be done for 5.30. It'll be done for 5.30. What time is it now? 4.30. 4.30. If I say you haven't had it yet in an hour... An hour from the time I'm telling you. We're running a little bit late today for the video because Donna had a, a late appointment and I, I, I had to wait for her to get home. I hate uh, afternoon appointments. Why? I don't know because it's just like in the afternoon and like you got to wait to do stuff. Yeah. You know, like... Like... Uh, I don't know. For instance, like, I'll use this as an example. I had an appointment at 2 o'clock this afternoon. So I won't, like, smoke anything until after my appointment. But, like, today would have been, like, an okay day because it was, like, rainy and stuff. <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's why I don't like afternoon appointments. Well, they're okay sometimes, I guess, if you have nothing to do. But, like... Hmm. So, what do we got to talk about? What 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 what's going on? Like, what are we? What what's going on, Donna? <laughs> <laughs> nothing's going on. I'm making the nothing. I'm waiting for a supper. You're making the nothing. And nothing's going on. Like nothing. I got nothing to do. Like like nothing's going on. I'm making stew, and there's nothing going on. <laughs> You're making stew and there's nothing going on. <laughs> tell us a story. How about what? I don't care. <clears throat> I get, You want me to tell the story of chores? Story of chores? Yeah, remember... Sure, we'd like to hear the story of chores. Okay, I was telling Ed this story, but he doesn't remember because he fell asleep. But <laughs> <laughs> telling him because I was rubbing his feet. <laughs> right? I, I, I kind of... I don't remember. <laughs> I said, I don't like the word chores. Like, sometimes Ed will joke and say the word chore, like, go do your chores. Like, <laughs> that, right? But, and I know he's joking, but I fucking hate the word chores, and I'll tell you why. When I was, like, small, I remember, like, one of the first things I learned how to do was fucking iron, okay? Like, iron? Iron. Like clothes? Uh, pillowcases. Pillowcases. Yeah. Like, that was one of the first, uh... But before that, before that chore, it was always like keep your room tidy. Like it always had to be tidy. So, and then like I said, like every year there was like a new fucking chore added. So that by the time like I was like 11, right, I knew how to fucking run a house, okay? Like, <laughs> is there only 11 chores to running a house? Maybe. Well, like, I like, okay, so my parents were cheap, and, and I, when I got close to, like, when I was 11, they didn't want to pay for babysitters anymore, like, for my brother, right? So, like, I would have, like, a list, like, uh, of chores I'd have to do from, like, such and such, like, time in the morning till, like, when they came home from, from work. Like, there was just a bunch of chores. And if it was, like, uh, like, like, okay, here's a memory, okay? Like, I fucking hated when, when it was opposite shifts, right? Because, like, that would mean my mom would be at fucking work, like, going to work for 3 o'clock, right? And my dad would be coming home, uh, be, like, 4.30-ish. That's usually the time he came home. So if she wasn't there to start, like, to cook a supper, right, it was my fucking chore, right, to start fucking the potatoes and fucking, you know, I, I just didn't, I don't like the word fucking chores because just, like, it was, it was just chore after fucking chore after fucking chore after chore, like, every fucking day it was a 
there's just lots of chores. So then one day, I was like 12, was 13, and I had my friend come over, right? But I was done with chores. I was like, I wonder what's really going to happen if I don't keep my room clean. And like, like you know, when you were a kid and you would like, I had hush puppies, right? And we were poor, right? So I would take all the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I would take like Kleenex out of the box and make them little beds and stuff like that. But that wasn't allowed. That like, as soon as like, cause if I would be playing in my bedroom, right, somebody, one of my parents would check on me and just, my mom and she would like get that shit out of here, you know. And like, I'd have to put all my <laughs> into the fucking garbage, okay. So this one day, uh, my friend came over and we bought sunflower seeds from. From Billy Pitfield's store. Donuts from Killarney, Ontario. <laughs> and I didn't have a garbage in like my room. So we were eating the sunflower seeds and my friend says, well, like where, where do we put the shells, right? And I said, just just put them on the, just throw them on the rug. <laughs> throw them on the rug. Because <laughs> I didn't want to be like, I just wanted to see what was going to happen. In my mind, it was like... I didn't think anything was gonna happen, but uh, my mom wasn't home at the time. Like she was, she was working, but my dad was home, and my dad came in the bedroom to see what we were doing, right? Like, mm -hmm. and there was like this pile of fucking shells uh, on my bedroom garbage, <laughs> and uh, my my dad never really talked to any of my friends, but that day he did, and she had to leave right away. And I got stopped in the hallway because usually I'd like walk my friends to the door or whatever and that fucking wasn't allowed happening, okay? So I got stopped like, stay right there. She knows her way out. Like... Donna's <laughs> <laughs> <was> in trouble. <laughs> I had, uh, I, I got like, you know, I had to pick that shit up and I thought, because like, you know, when one parent sometimes says like, oh, I'm telling your father or I'm telling your mother about this when they get home and you think like... Oh, please don't put it, you know, sometimes it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Well, my dad said it, right? My dad, like, I don't know. He didn't really deal, like, with the, with the grounding so much. It was more my mom thing, and he would just follow along. So you had to deal with your mom next? I thought he was just joking when he said, I'm going to tell your mother about this. <laughs> and I got grounded a week from him, right, just for doing it. And then when she came home... Uh, he told her about it, right? And then I got a second fucking week of of. <laughs> I was grounded for two fucking weeks for. She shit. got two sentences, <laughs> one from each part. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Huh. And, and then and then for like after grounding was over, I remember for the first like probably couple months, if my fr like, you know, your friend comes over or something like that, right? That my bedroom door would have to fucking stay open. Because mm -hmm. they would always say, you know. What would you guys put on the floor? Peanut shells? Sunflower seed shells. Sunflower seed shells. That is kind of dirty though, Donna. <laughs> I just wanted to see what was going to happen because I was tired of fucking. I was tired of doing chores. <laughs> hmm. Huh. <laughs> Did you fill this up for me at all? Yeah. Well, you had like, I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, like I said to, like I said to Ed, it, I felt like I was fucking like on a farm. There was just chore after fucking chore. Like you had to fucking click off. I remember when that came into the house, my mom fucking watched some stupid fucking whatever show she watched on the fucking satellite, right? And they had fucking their chores like on a piece of paper. Right, and we had to go over and check mark them fucking off. Not even a fucking reward at the end, just a fucking check. <laughs> <laughs> the check mark was your reward? I uh, so. You could never like switch up like things like, hey, like I'd say to my brother, you do, if you do dishes tonight, I'll do them for two nights in a row because, you know, sometimes you just didn't feel like doing dishes. That wasn't allowed. If you had a friend over and they wanted to help you, that wasn't allowed. <laughs> Tell us some more, Donna. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have it. <laughs> I'm not going into everything. It was, uh... <laughs> 
I didn't like either. Also, I you know this story, but like uh, when we would go to Sudbury, right? Uh, my and my parents would be like sitting in the front, and we would be sitting in the back of the vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever we were like coming home, and if it was uh, I don't know, like I don't know, like say between usually be like one and two, because nobody like nobody the I don't remember anybody ever. If it was three three o'clock and we were leaving Sudbury to go home, right? You there was no like McDonald's or anything like that. We just weren't allowed because it was getting close to supper. My mom would say, so um, so. But if it was anywhere like between one and two, and we're and everybody was on the way home, right? My parents would stop like at McDonald's or wherever, right, and get like a whatever burger, right? So so my dad would be driving, right, like this, right? My mom would be like over in the seat over here. But you'd have to like feed him the fucking hamburger or whatever, usually like the hamburger while he's driving, okay? And then like when I got to a certain age, if my mom wasn't there, this I had to go to Sudbury uh, lots when I was a kid. Thank you, told us a story. For and me. I'd have to fucking hold the hamburger for him. I fucking hate that. I would, if you asked me to, Ed, I would do it for you, but I would fucking, because <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my job, you know, it wasn't my job. Well, hopefully today's video wasn't too boring. Listening about Donna's fucking, I don't know, what, you, what do you call those things? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you call those things. I remember... Donna's I, got many stories of her childhood. Yeah. <laughs> like the first time I got soap in the mouth. Cause I, well, that was another time I didn't really think my mom was going to put soap in the mouth. Tell the story. And uh, Okay, well, I did, she'd always say, like, I'm going to put soap in your mouth. <coughs> <coughs> so I fought with my brother I had pushed him and he started to cry and he went to my mom and my mom he told on me and I I wanted to see like because she'd always threaten it like I'll wash your mouth out with soap so this one time I thought she's not going to wash my mouth out with soap she never does that no matter what right well I said that I didn't push him down and uh, I guess it wasn't believable because fuck remember that fucking dove fucking soap the white bar I'm telling you yeah that's strong fucking soap I had it in my mouth I had to keep it in there for such a long time for fucking lying she tells your story but I'm telling you the story she grabbed me to bring me into the fucking bathroom okay and there was and this is another thing okay <coughs> the soap was used for your fucking hands to wash them okay <laughs> like and she took that fucking bar of soap and, and I, yeah, I, I had to get soap in the fucking... You had dirty hand soap in your mouth? Yeah. I... And you could, and, and... I... It was... <laughs> that sounds good. I had to wait a couple of minutes and, like, when the bar of soap came out, like, before I can rinse my mouth, it was a part of, like, you know, did you learn your lesson? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know. Well, people's hands like dirty hands stuff it was like the mouth. soap it was it was it was dove i remember it was that oval <laughs> it was the smell of dove like the taste is just fucking horrible i remember it was fucking god awful <laughs> hey? <laughs> there, yeah, and we're not going to the sick things that. The what? The sick things that I've seen. The sick things that you see? Yeah, like things I would never do. Tell us, tell us the sick things that. I'll you've tell seen. you one of the sick things. So you don't want to know why? <laughs> this is absolutely disgusting. I don't know how. Okay, you know, like how most people have a toilet brush. Yeah. And like. You know beside the plunger or whatever like there's a toilet brush yeah or like you see uh like when when my mom would clean the bathroom okay i remember this because i got i got grounded for a couple of days because i wasn't doing what she did i remember so she she would go and clean the bathroom all normal and stuff like that that was fine okay but then she would get to the fucking toilet no no there was like septic tank right so like there was they never wanted toilet paper down the fucking toilet you had to put it in the garbage can okay 
No, this I'm is kind of scared of where and this might no, be going. No, no. So Go my mom was like showing me how. Well, not like, it was part of like my new chore coming up, right? But I seen her do your it. Your new once. chore. Yeah, but I, I wasn't doing it. I, I fucking refused to do it. So she gets over <laughs> to the fucking toilet, right? And she's like saying how to clean the toilet, like the steps, because she'd have steps to do stuff, right? And then, right, and there was no rubber gloves. I'm telling you, there was no fucking rubber gloves. They just weren't in the house. We never, there's, there was just none. So she starts like, oh, you wipe this and this and this, right? And then she sticks her fucking hand inside the toilet, like, you know, where you, where the bowl is in the water. Yeah. And she puts some, like, Mr. Clean. That was what we had back then was Mr. Clean. And she's, and she's in there fucking. Your mom would hand clean the toilet? Yes, and she wanted me to fucking do it. <laughs> it, and, and I that sounds gross it was <laughs> disgusting I fucking I I didn't care about get I would have took like a month of grounding I was not fucking cleaning the yeah every every that, that is I don't know why she did that because it's fucking sickening it's a toilet there's fucking there's always germs in there but she, yeah that is like one of the sickest things that I seen when I was a kid growing up like for for chore wise was that there was she didn't put she didn't have rubber gloves on and she didn't get it like from my grandma's house or anything because there was always a toilet brush. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking stories you have, Donna. <clears throat> Anywho, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hopefully the video wasn't too boring. We'll be back in tomorrow and possibly. Donna will share another disgusting moment in her life. Ah, uh, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything else to say? I'll save it. <laughs> I'm going to get in my road toke and Donna's going to throw you cocksuckers some final words. <laughs> stay, stay happy and stay safe and be kind and enjoy your Wednesday evening. And uh, that's it. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. I never heard that story before. Well, that's something new for you. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> never shake hands. Yeah, kidding. never shake hands, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Cigarette old and everybody? Here, Oot. Fuck off. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>